Okay, I'm going to talk about the 1960s. Why? Because it was a major change of generations. Major change. 1960s. So the people who were, let's say, 18 to 30, you know, they... They were different than their parents. Their parents were mm, World War II kind of people. And what did we have in the late 1960s? We had the Vietnam War. So if you were an American, uh, starting at about age 18, they could draft you, put you in the army, and send you to Vietnam to the jungle where your job was to go around killing people because the politicians of that day said you gotta go and there were massive troubles in the United States in those days massive troubles huge riots in the streets of the cities in America. Why? Well, on one hand you had Uncle Sam telling young black men that they had to go to Vietnam to go and fight. On the other hand, there was massive, massive, massive racism. massive racism black people had to fight to even get to vote and here they were being drafted to be sent in old white man's army to go to Southeast Asia where they might drop dead or become maimed in this damn war so that was another big thing there was a huge peace movement among young people Young people didn't want this war. It was an old right-wing man's war. And there was a great movement of young people at the time. They wanted major change. They didn't want these old white men to run everything anymore. And what changed these people's minds? Well, number one, they didn't like growing up in the homes of their parents, their square parents. They called them square because they were conventional, conservative, white bread. So it was just natural teenage rebellion it was the war it was the racism it was an enormous push among younger people that things have got to change and then what happened the old white men got really angry really angry and they launched a war on young people the government went to war against young people they sent in spies paid spies to go and spy on what the young people were doing. And then the celebrities of that time period um, were being paid by the CIA to say what they were going to say and report what they heard. Huge spying and telling people what to think. 
you had a disgusting criminal named Richard Nixon as president of the United States, and all of the president's men were corrupt criminals. And maybe you've never heard of Watergate, but that was because Richard Nixon's people broke in to the Democratic Party at the Watergate Hotel to go and steal information about the Democratic plan on winning the presidency. It was crime. Criminals. And Dick Nixon was at the head of the pyramid. Filthy, disgusting criminals running the American government. And that's what we had, was Richard Nixon resigning in disgrace. All the while, he was fighting a war in Vietnam. So these same people, the Richard Nixons of the world, are still running the American government today. And they're spying on you and they're telling you what to think. And all the while, they're looking at ways for them to get rich at your expense. Still happening today, 50 years later. And what happened to those young people? They caved in, pretty much caved in, and they stopped fighting. And then they joined the Richard Nixon troop of people. If we can't beat them, we're going to join them. And that's what they did. And since that time, what have we had? War after war after war after war. And that's how the American old white men break the spirit of the youth. They do it because it works. Either they put them in the army or they threaten to draft them into the army. And they start another war and another war and another war. And that's how they break the spirit of the young people. Generation after generation. What does it mean to be woke? Because Donald Trump is saying the Great Awakening. What does it mean? Two things, depending on who you are. If you're a Republican, the Great Awakening is um, trying to get other people to um, join the Republican Party. That's not an awakening. That's a political stunt. What's the great awakening, really? The real... I don't have a hat. There's no hat. 
what is the real awakening? It's a shift in consciousness. It's evolution of consciousness. Evolution. That's what an awakening is. It's you. You, you, you. You. It's not a politician. It's not a political party. It's not a slogan. It's a change in you. And that's all it is. It's you changing. And to be a woken person means things just aren't the same. They're never going to be the same. So, you know, there's these things going on people who are changed and people who are not changed. People who are evolved and people who ain't. And if you are awoke and evolved, the people who aren't are very difficult. Because they are simply difficult, 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 difficult. You're difficult if you're a 3D person because you are not really able to understand. And I wish I had words to explain it to you. Because it means you have got to go on your own journey to really get it. Otherwise, it's just like going to a movie and hearing a story and then you forget about it. It's experiential, your journey. And if you never go on the journey, you never saw the movie about you. Who chooses if you're going to go on the, the journey? Maybe you, or maybe something triggers it in your life. 